are we? My wheelchair isn't rolling. It's very green here. Well, let's go back inside, guys. Oh no. It's locked. I know what I'll do. I'll teleport back inside. <laughs> That's weird. I can't teleport. Can you, Sky? No. No, I cannot. I can't either. I'm not even gonna try. Jeff, what is going on? Who are those people? They all look like us. I don't... No. Oh, no. No, no. This is not good. You always know, Jeff. I know, but... I don't. Wait. I have an idea. Sky, this is your postal route, right? Maybe we follow your normal, daily route and we'll find someone that can help us. Yes, this sounds like a great plan. Um... Oh, wait a second. Uh, I don't get it. What is it, Sky? I don't recognize this. What do you mean? I I mean, I remember leaving Jeff's place every day to finish delivering my mail, but I don't remember anything after that. You don't even recognize Jeff's sidewalk leading up to his house? No. No, I don't. I, I don't even know where his mailbox is. Oh, no. I can't remember anything outside of Jeff's place. Wait a second. I can't either. But you always teleport back to your wife, right? After you leave Jeff's place. I thought I did, but I don't remember anything after I teleport. I leave to go home, and then the next thing I remember is being back at Jeff's place for another lesson. Same here, but I have to admit that I don't pay much attention to what is going on. I'm fairly easygoing about this kind of stuff. Jacob, you live at Jeff's place, don't you? What do you remember doing after we all leave? Well... Usually what happens is that you all leave, and then Jeff and I enjoy a malted milkshake or something equally as satisfying, and then we... Yes? Go on. Oh no. I don't... I don't remember. Oh no. This is very bad. Andrew Fleischer is right. Jeff, I'm feeling scared. Do you know where that comes from? Yes. Yes, Jeff. Where does fear come from? Oh. Fear is just your mind's way of... Your mind's... Yes? I'm afraid I don't know. <gasps> Why don't we all sit down and come up with some sort of a plan? I can't do anything but sit. Not cool, Jacob. Jacob, it's good to be sensitive of your surroundings. No. He was just trying to help. Wait, what did you say, Jeff? No need to be hard on Jacob. He was just trying to help. Okay, now I'm very scared. Oh my gosh, people! Hey! <laughs> hey, you guys! Over here! Hey, Jeff, there is a delightfully enthusiastic man wearing some sort of country club uniform calling out to us. Where? Down by the street. Should we walk over to him? Hey, guys! Hey, I'm down here. See the golf cart? That's me down here. Come on down. <laughs> I don't think I trust him. Well, I'm not going to just sit here. I'm going to find out what he wants. Yes, me too. Uh, Nurse Q Nguyen, I can't roll my wheelchair while I'm in the grass. I can help. All right, Andrew, here we go. All right. Sit on my shoulders. Right like this. Yeah. Yeah, good. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say. Hello? This is probably one of the most interesting days I've ever had. Hello? Hello? Folks, don't ever leave the houses. I was beginning to think I had no purpose here anymore. Are you able to tell us how to get back into Jeff's place? We've been locked out. I don't mean to be rude, but Andrew Fleischer is heavy and I can't hold him in the air much longer. I feel bad about this as well. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Please, put him down in my golf cart. All right, Andrew. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Peter. I'm one of the 14 golf cart engineers for the neighborhood. Whoa, super cool. You're an engineer? In a sense, well, I think so. <sighs> no, 
anybody worry? Just have a seat in my cart. I'll drive you around the neighborhood and fill you in. Things will get a bit clearer for you. Okay, I don't want to screw this up. It's moving! The cart is moving! I'm telling you guys, this is just as exciting for you as it is for me. First time driver coming through. You aren't touching the wheel. Oh yeah, these things drive themselves. Part of the underlying infrared electromagnetic radiation that, you know, powers the neighborhood. Makes sense. You understood that? No, I simply said makes sense. Ah, makes sense. Ooh, okay. We are coming up on the second block of the neighborhood. Take a look out the right side of the cart. Perhaps you'll start to see and hear a few things you recognize. That music, it sounds like... Yup, Tania and Ben of Heart Society. You remember them, right? And look, there they are in that house there. Can you see who they are talking to? Oh, my goodness. They are talking to us. No way. No, no, you guessed it right. They are indeed talking to you all. But where is Jeff? Who is that talking with them? That's their teacher. Each house has one. Makes sense. Does it really make sense to you? Not at all. Okay. You see, each house has a teacher and then four friends that all the various teachers share. A lovable and curious postman. Like me. A knowledgeable expert whose brain power is only matched by his massive physical disability. Like me. Some sort of super annoying friend. Who would that be in our group? And a nurse to assist the disabled expert. Though I will say we seem to have a lot of turnover with the nurses these days. It's not as easy of a job as you would think. Makes sense. Yes, but why don't I remember being me in these other houses? Well, those folks aren't really you. They are that particular teacher's version of you based on whatever version of you fit their needs. And you gentlemen happen to be the Jeff version of you. I'm Jeff's Andrew Fleischer? That's right. And the Andrew Fleischer in each one of these houses is someone else's Andrew Fleischer? Now you're getting it. But no, I have a past. I used to be a hitman in Mother Russia. Sure you did. In Jeff's mind, that fit the bill for you. You see that Sky the Postman in that red house up there at the end of the block? Look through the window. He's doing some sort of pole dance. Yes. Oh, my. Yeah, so that particular Sky the Postman actually came from a family of gypsies who sold him to a Persian monarch who eventually taught him to be one of the great burlesque dancers of our time. I see. Jeff, is this true? I don't... Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know. Sorry, that was something I was supposed to tell you at the top of the ride, but I was so excited to get going, I forgot. Anything you learn at Jeff's place, well, it's a skill that's only usable at Jeff's place. Out here, in the neighborhood though, <laughs> all bets are off, including, but not limited to, teleporting, delivering mail, dancing, meditating, imagining, comforting one another, singing, photographing, puppet play, exhibiting good manners, and, oh yeah, teaching. Teaching? I don't like the sound of any of this. Is that why Jeff has nothing to say? I'm sure he has stuff to say, but hey, for some folks, losing what you do in life is kind of like losing what you have to say. This is all very, very bad news. Cheer up. We're coming up on that house with a version of you that used to be a bank robber in Thailand. It's great fun to sit outside and walk through the window. Sometimes I even roll a tractor out on the lawn so nobody expects I'm spying. All right, everybody stop. Stop the car. What the hell? What happened? Did we crash? No, we didn't crash. Andrew Fleischer screamed in my ear. Listen, you can't do that when I'm driving, all right? This is my first transport job in all of eternity, and God damn it, you were going to scare me into an accident. I'm sorry I screamed, but doesn't anyone else understand? Based on everything I have heard thus far, I can tell you all exactly what's going on with us. Go on, Andrew Fleischer. Please translate it for all of us. Okay, so here's the deal. We are all sleeping. And this is a dream that we are all having at the same time. And it's like a shared nightmare. And we can't quite wake ourselves up. But if we start maybe chanting or, or singing together, maybe even harmonizing, we can get out of this nightmare. And hey, we know how to harmonize, guys. Let's do this. This pen writes well. Yeah, 
Yeah, like I said, anything you learned in that house is no good here. We're doomed. Well, look, I'm not gonna lie, but you might be. Because this card ain't moving, and that means it's time for you to get out. But why do we have to get out now? I drive this block only, and by the looks of it, we have reached the end of the block. Okay, folks, I have to say, I have mixed feelings about my first transport. It was slightly more stressful than I had anticipated. All right, out you guys go. I still can't walk. There's a good chance you might have to find a new nurse after this. Come on, up you go. (laughs) My leg is right right there. We don't even know where we are. You drove us so far from our house. Well, as they say in the neighborhood, that's life. I certainly wish you guys all the best. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Jeff? Yes, Guy? It's time to go. Okay. And here I go! Remember, everybody in the neighborhood is part of the same neighborhood. You dig? It's all one neighborhood. You catch my drift? You are all connected. Have I spelled this out for you enough? Yep. Thanks so much for that extra information. Hey, Andrew Fleischer, did you really have some idea of what he meant by this is all one neighborhood? That we are all connected? No clue. I lied multiple times on that ride. Yeah. I promise this is the last time. You might not want to hang out in the street. Think of this like a highway. It's not for walking around. Is there anything about being outside of Jeff's place that's good? I got the tail end of your question as I was driving away, but essentially the answer is no. Uh, not really. Okay, this time it's real. Adios, amigos! <laughs> This is really becoming less fun than I normally have. What is that shaking? I have no idea. I've never felt anything like this before. Jeff, do you know? Uh, Jeff does not look so good. Uh, we need to get out of the street. How? The street goes on forever, and I just see rows and rows of houses. Maybe we knock on one of the doors. I do not think we should be where we are right now. Well, what, what should we do? I think it may be time to run. Uh... Jeff, 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 wake up. It's me, it's Sky, the postman. Jeff, maybe pour some water on him, Nurse Kunuen. I can't do two things at once. I'm already carrying you. That's true. Let me try something else. Jeff? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Jeff, 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 wake up! It stopped. Hurry, Nurse Q. We need to pick Jeff up. My shoulder. Uh, On my shoulder. On my shoulder. Uh, uh, guys, you might want to turn around. I'm seeing something that concerns me. Oh my god. This can't be good. It is definitely not good. So, anyone else have a guess why everyone in the neighborhood is standing on their lawns staring at us? Oh, hello.
Jeff's Place podcast was created by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, and Andrew Fleischer and is presented by Angry King Productions. The show is produced by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, Andrew Fleischer, and Evan Shapiro. Written by Jeff Galfer and stars Jeff Galfer as Jeff, Sky Soleil as Sky, Andrew Fleischer as Andrew Fleischer, and Jacob Givens as Jacob. With music by Pete Larney, the saxophonist. Our guest stars for today's episode was George Q. Nguyen as Nurse Q. Nguyen and Peter Story as Peter. The credits music for this episode was created by the inimitable Sean Parks. For more information on Jeff's Place or our production company, please visit jeffsplaceshow.com or angrykingproductions.com.
wasn't expecting you all today. It's so great to have you here. I want to thank you for your time. We'll take it from here.